good morning grade 10 we have seen the formula to find sum of n terms in ap sn in previous video so depending on that we'll be doing some problems from set 3.3 so first is relate it is like completing or fill in the blanks type boxes you have to fill only now what is sn sn is equal to n by 2 what is the formula here it will be 2 a 2 a plus n minus 1 into d where a is what? a is first term and value of a is given as 6, difference is given as 3 and you have to find s27. So before we start, let me read this problem for you. First term and common difference of an AP are 6 and 3 respectively, find s27. Alright, this is the problem from your text. Now let's do, so 27 upon 2 directly they have written already here 12, 2 into a, that means 2 into 6 is 12. Plus n minus 1 into d. d is how much? 3. So, you will be writing over here 3. I hope this is clear. Now, see here directly only one box is given. That means they have solved this completely and they have written the value. So, let us solve it. It is 12 plus 27 minus 1 is 26 into 3. So, which will be equal to 12 plus 78. Alright. 26 into 3, 78. So, 8 plus 2 is 10, 7, 8, 9. So, what you got? 90. So, directly write 90 over here. This all you have to do in your rough notebook. Or you can make at your right hand side one column in your notebook and write there rough. And you can carry out your rough work in that margin. Is it clear? Okay. Now, last is 27 into 45. Carry out this multiplication. 27 into 45. So, so we will get 1, 2, 1, 5. I hope it was easy. Okay. So, directly you write answer here. 1, 2, 1, 5. All this rough work you have to do in your rough margin. Which margin which you have made for rough column. Or you may carry out in your rough notebook and then write the answers. Is it clear? Shall we go to the next problem? Let's go to the next problem. Let's go to second question. Find the sum of first 123 even natural numbers. Now see students, you should be knowing even numbers start with 2 and therefore we have written here that first term which is A is equal to 2. Second, um, second term is 4. Third term is 6. And like this, how many are there? First, 123. That means, last term's number is 123. So, n is equal to 123. So, we have a as 2. Now, difference between it, they are even numbers. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. So, the difference between any two consecutive terms, that is common difference is 2. n is 123. Now we have formula Sn is equal to n by 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. You know n, you know a, you know d. So you can find this value. We want to find S123 which is equal to n is 123 upon 2 into 2 as it is. A is also 2. So 2 into 2 plus n is 123 minus 1 into d is also 2. So, we are left with 123 by 2 in bracket 4 plus 122 into 2. Product of this is 244. 4 plus 244 is 248. So, you have 123 by 2 into 248. Now, divide this. You have 2 ones are and 2 one twenty fours are. So, you have 123 into 124 which is equal to 50. So, we got 123 into 124 is 15,252. So, you will be writing at the end, <clears throat> the sum of the first 123 even numbers is 15,252. Is this clear everybody? Shall we go to the next problem? Let's go to the third problem. Third problem is, find the sum of all even numbers between 1 to 350. Now see students, even numbers again, they start with 2. So which are numbers? 2, 4, 6, 6 like this. Between, they have said 1 to 350. That means 1 is over here in that between and 350. So before 350, 
number is 348 which is even because 349 is odd number. So all this sum we have to find out. So we have nth term, last term is 348. But we don't know how many terms are there in between. N is not known. So first, if you want to find sum, that is Sn, formula is n by 2 in bracket. Second formula, if you remember, first term plus last term. We have first term, we have last term, but we don't know what is value of n. So first, using the formula, Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, let us first find out what is the value of n. Because Tn, we know it is 348 which is equal to 2 plus 2n minus 1. By 2 we are multiplying this bracket. 2 into n is 2n minus 2 into 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we are left with 348 is equal to 2n. So n will be equal to 348 by 2 which is 174. So you got n. That means how many like this? 1, 2, 3 like this. How many terms? 174th term this is. Number is 174 and term is 348. See number is 2. Term is 4. Number is 3. Third number. Who is that third number? 6. So who is that 174th number? 348. So 348 is term and its number in the sequence is 174. Now we have to add up all these 174 numbers. So that's why, that's why S174 in this sequence will be N by 2. That is 174 by 2 into bracket T1 plus Tn. Which is first term 2. Which is last term 348. Add up this 2 you get 350. 174 by 2 is 87. So 87 into 350 you do. You get 30,450. So please write in the statement form. What are you going to write? You will be writing that. The sum of all even numbers from 1 to 350 is 30,450. I hope it is clear. Alright. Let's go to the next problem. Now look at fourth question. In an AP, 19th term is 52 and 38th term is 128. Next sentence they have said that find out sum of first 56 terms. So S56 is question mark. 56 terms are there. That means how many numbers are there? 56 numbers are there. So N is equal to 56. We have to find SN which is equal to n by 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, s56 will be 56 upon 2 in bracket 2a plus n is 56. So, 56 minus 1 into d. After solving this, we get s56, which we are supposed to be finding out, is equal to, divide this, you get 28, 2a plus 56 minus 1, 55d. Now, to find this s56, I don't know what is A. I don't know first term. No, directly they have given 19th term and 38th term. I don't know what is A. I don't know what is D. Then we have to use this given information to find out A and D. We have done this problem earlier. But here is little twist. We don't have to find complete first A, then eliminate 1, find A, then substitute and find B, find D. There is no need. See how easy it becomes. If you stop over here, and if you get value of 2a plus 55d directly, you will be able to substitute over here. Now let's go back to given information. You know that Tn is a plus n minus 1 into d. So what will be T19? T19 will be a plus 18d. Here will be 19. No, 19 minus 1 will give 18 into d. Similarly, T38 will be a plus 37d. Because 31 minus 1 will be 37. Value of this is given as T19 is given as 52. So what I got? A plus 18D is equal to 52. And I got A plus 37D is equal to 128. So I am saying this equation 2 and equation 3 because this is equation 1. You add up 2 and 3, you know students. Just see what you are getting. If I write A plus 18D which is equal to 52. And to that if I add plus A plus 37D which is 128. You add up this and see what you are getting. A plus A is 2A. And 18 plus 37 is 55D. And that is what you want. 2A plus 55D. So directly I am getting 2A plus 55D is equal to 180. So you have to think. If I would have subtracted this from this. Then A would have eliminated. Then I would have got D value. Then finding D. I, I would have substituted in any one of this equation. Then found A. 
and then after getting a and b i would have substituted over here so that also would have done but it would have been become very lengthy so you should have that eyesight in maths looking at these two think what is over here a plus a i am getting 2a and this plus this also i am getting 55d so i am directly getting 2a plus 55d as 180 so whole bracket i got and therefore this 2a plus 55d i am directly substituting <coughs> in a so i got s56 is 28 into this whole value itself is 180 just do multiplication and you get 5040 So, what should be your answer? In statement, you are going going to write sum of first fifty six terms is five thousand forty. Is this clear? Okay. So, please pause the video, take down all the steps, and study well. All right. So, that's all from my side for today, students. Thank you.